What's going on guys, Sam Prentice is back once again. This is the new Anycubic Photon M5S resin printer. It boasts a 10.1 inch screen and up to 12K in resolution. I've just started a 10 hour print on this thing. Let's see what it's all about. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. The Photon Mono M5S is an impressive new release to the Anycubic range of resin printers. In recent months, I have been lucky enough to receive several Anycubic printers, and I have to say right away, this experience of the M5S has been great. Now, if you have been around this channel before, you will know that my overall experience with resin hasn't really been a happy one. It can be messy, toxic, and a pain to work with. However, the M5S boasts a couple of extra features that I was really sold on. And with the average print time of 105 millimeters per hour, certainly on paper, this seems to be the next big thing. So let's start with the big one. This is apparently the first consumer version of a resin printer that you can buy that has auto bed leveling. So it's really interesting to see that for the very first time and not have to put a piece of paper between the bed and the screen. Now, the next thing we have is speed. It's three times faster than its rivals, ultimately saving you time and getting those creative juices flowing. Resin detection is also apparent and running out of resin mid-print on the M5S pauses and awaits you to top up before it continues along. Anycubic have also told me that they have an advanced device check which adds to the overall print experience, so that checks the print to make sure that it's actually being stuck to the build plate, so thanks for that Anycubic. So the M5S printer can also be connected to Wi-Fi. The last printer that I reviewed from Anycubic didn't have this feature, so if you are looking for a more advanced model, this is the one for sure. And teaming up with the Anycubic app, well, let's install it, allows you to control the printer, allowing you to print at your leisure. Furthermore, and when it comes to stability, the printer incorporates dual linear rails to ensure proper alignment of the bed. It also boasts a laser etched bed surface, and although accessing the USB port might not be the most convenient, the 4.3 inch touchscreen offers a user-friendly interface. And the bed build size measures 200 by 218 by 123 millimeters. That's on the height, width and depth, providing ample space for your printing needs. The inclusion of Wi-Fi and app functionalities adds an intriguing aspect to the printer. Despite the widespread criticism directed at remote printing technology, I find this intriguing and actually quite appealing. But I would like to see some sort of standards brought in to protect cloud printing. But of course, with resin, it's all about the quality. So we're gonna have a deep dive into this and see what the quality is really all about. So the results given from this printer are nothing less than spectacular. So what are my actual thoughts about this printer? Well, when I'm sent a product for review, I tend to test and focus on a number of key areas. The unboxing, the features, the accessibility, the ease of use, use of tech, quality, and foreseeable issues, and of course, the price. So I certainly believe that Anycubic have done a fantastic job at creating this new 12K printer. This video is sponsored by Anycubic, so thank you very much to those guys for sending me the printer. But there are a couple of things in my open and honest review that I wanna say, so here it goes. So while 12K may sound impressive it's going to be almost impossible to tell the difference in quality by the naked eye so for quality it's certainly a hit even if any cubic have rounded up the numbers to be true 12k as true 12k is actually 12288 by 6480 in this case the 12k element of any cubics printer is 11520 by 5120 and of course, it's not unusual for companies just to round up numbers like they have done in this case. But again, you won't be able to tell the difference. 
And of course, with all that being said, dialing in your printer to the very much optimal settings will have an impact on said quality along with speed. And with the speed, the 110 millimeters per hour is when using speedy resin and 70 millimeters per hour is with standard resin. Now, the 3D prints that you've seen in this video have been produced with Anycubic's clear and gray fast resin. And for me, the quality and speed is still pretty staggering, although there are potential limitations with speed and quality for other vendors resin. So regarding the unboxing, pretty much all these printers are exactly Exactly the same they're well packed in foam with smiley faces on the case and it'll have inside everything that you're going to need to get started but I would definitely suggest you buy some more gloves so on the features side as I already spoke about I really like the cloud element and even the models on their system I just hope that the creators are taken care of during that process the bed leveling though it's a key feature but let's be fair how often do you actually level your bed and unless you're using an older system that doesn't save your settings it's just one of those things that maybe you're just going to do just the once on to the ease of use the whole time during my test i actually used my phone to print even if it meant slicing and then uploading the files it was simple and pretty well put together as apps go i think that any cubic could be really clever with their app if they take the time to listen to the community and don't rip off models from other websites <clears throat> so what about foreseeable issues well the screen has a lifespan listed at 2000 hours and at best guess that means used hours so a couple of seconds of exposure time should keep your screen working, I would hope, for the foreseeable future. It also looks like Anycubic have updated their user interface, finally, and long may this trend continue. As we are seeing trends in the 3D printing market now, and if you don't listen to the community and give them what they want, well, someone will. And it's good to see that some thought's actually gone into this. So as this is a new Anycubic printer, of course they will be doing some deals, so make sure you check out the links below to find out where the best deals are for this particular printer. And as it happens over the next couple of days, Anycubit will be doing some prime deals where you can pick up this printer for $499. Again, the links will be down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much to Anycubit for sending me this printing, trusting me to give this kind of sterling and honest review. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments about this printer. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.